What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another drawing. What are these called? Drawing, drawing tutorials. Oh, yes, I forgot. This is Kakashi alternate version. So, kind of like different hair, eye style, all that kind of thing. So, we're in profile, kind of looking back at us over his shoulder. I'm in a landscape page, pencil and eraser for these. Hit pause if I go too fast. We're going to start with his nose because he's kind of in profile. It's kind of the easiest way to start. So you start with this letter L. So curve it that way, and then it comes in here. So it's kind of like a letter L or an upside down seven. And you got a nostril there. And his lip sort of dip, disappears behind his shoulder. So it'll just go like come down a little bit there. And the top will curve the opposite way for his eyebrow. So like go like up that way okay so we got his headband and his eye just underneath it right so the headband just comes across his forehead here it's kind of wavy it can be a different sort of style because well it is different style this one so eyebrow just a little bit there and then maybe like some eyelashes that we can see just sticking out here So his eye, right? So just across from this space, about like an eye across, you're past the nostril mainly, right? You don't want to put the eye here. You want to go like past it a bit. So say up from the nostril and in, small little bit is where you start his eye there. And these are going to be different sort of eyes that we're used to in Naruto. So it comes across. And they're kind of spiky at the end, right? So spiky on top and spiky at the end so this will hook down here and this nearly goes the whole way around right but we have two lines so you have this one and then in this sort of version they give him another one so another one that goes the whole way around on the inside, right? So it's kind of like that's eyelashes or something, and it's quite dark and heavy. And spiky on the end. Okay, so it's kind of like slick. So you're going for like this slender sort of thinner, more streamlined style of Kakashi's or Naruto character's eyes. Okay. Bit different. So his frowning eyebrow goes underneath the headband, so it disappears underneath, right? So it goes like nearly touches his eye, right? But goes like under there. And you could have like another sort of frowning section, and then maybe like the side of his nose just going that way. Maybe like you can see a little bit of his eyebrow going that way as well. And then we have an eyelid line. Just got to check if I'm recording. Sometimes I get like, oh, I didn't hit record. But I am. I'm a pro. <laughs> uh, right, so then he's got his Sharingan eye, right? So we've got like an iris. So like a half circle just sort of coming around here, coming down from his top eyelid line right right and then his pupil somewhere here just like touching the top you want to make it look like it's in the middle because that makes it look like the character is looking at us when it's right bang in the middle right and then we'll go we'll go with a bit of a sharing down just like a comma, Tomei there. Maybe where where should another one be up here? We'll go another one up here. It's alt version, so it doesn't have to be the exact. And usually they have like a little sort of light line that follows around that. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so we've got like another little sort of eye line there. And then we have his scar. Goes down behind his mask. So the mask itself comes across the nose, say, down this way, and just across his cheek here. And then we have like a little bit of hair sticking up here. So like these kind of things, and it's different. He's got sort of a bit longer, it's kind of longer hair. It goes up behind his ear, which will be here. Kind of different style hair for Kakashi in this one. And then like little sort of wrinkles or bags around his eye if you want. Okay. And then this face mask, mask keeps going down this way, even over his earlobe a little bit. Looks like it's over his earlobe actually. So that ear's just here, sticks out and down. And it is underneath the mask, so but you can see the earlobe there, a little bit under the mask. And then this goes back with lines inside, like this sort of stuff. like a dark hole here but like the actual hole of his ear okay like another hair spike just just there okay so he has a big collar that comes across his face and his shoulders here so you can you can't see his chin or his mouth so we'll do, we'll do the collar line here. Maybe it's kind of like wavy and it can be like bed up a little bit. And it comes down the back just here. And he's got like a zip, a zipper sort of section here, which goes down this way. And then his shoulder comes across here, it looks like. Okay, and then the shoulder sort of goes off down the page, down this way. So real big high up shoulder. Do, 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 do. Looks like his mask has like an edge, like a rim. So before we finish the body, we'll just finish the head. So we have his metal plate right here on his head and every now and then he could have like a piece of hair sticking down sort of that way and then the headband comes across you know and if you want like more hair coming over or less you know you can just do a couple of these sort of spikes like that and then continue on your travels down like another one and then just at the back the back of that headband goes back that way and then the back of his head will just come down here you could see some hair hanging down that way Right, and then the metal plate. Just curving around the edges. Back in like so. And then we have the leaf village symbol and the studs. So we've got like studs here. And we've got an edge line. So you just go around this to 
to try and make it look a little bit three-dimensional. And then the leaf. So we've got this beak, sort of a triangle sticking out the front, right? And then this has an inside. Right, and then your spiral comes out from there, so it like comes out from the top, comes around, and it has a bit of a tail, then goes back, down, down around, right? Like a spiral, pretty much like that. And then like you can have like some scratches and textures and stuff all on that. And some like full lines on his headband. If you want to make it look a little bit more realistic sort of. Okay, so then we have a sort of a tied ribbon headband part back here, and then like all flowing sort of fabric that comes off the back. So this can be kind of random, you know, you just. All right, one. We're going to do three because that's the way it is in the picture. So. and the third one going in a different direction just all like crinkled and folded up here like that and they'd be colored the same as this part so hair lots of hair on this one right so comes out from like his eye even sort of down here right down behind the shoulder. Right, just sort of hanging down here, and then it goes like more kind of like Kakashi's sort of style then. Say like. All right, but kind of messier looking, I guess, than Naruto. Naruto just has like straight sort of spikes that are kind of easier to animate, I guess because we're doing a still image, you could sort of add some more craziness to it. Mm -hmm. So here you might have some texture lines just in there as well. And it just kind of flows back this way. It goes off the top of my page. And you just check and see how it looks every now and then. Add some more inside here, some more sort of texture.
all the way to the back of the head. All in here, you want to put some as well. <laughs> right, so roughly speaking that's his hair so then we'll just finish his clothing right so his back sort of like crinkles down like this right and this will, this will have like all sort of folding lines and stuff Right, and it's kind of just like so. And then his, his shoulder at the back comes sort of down this way. It's a wide enough back. And then like some fold lines all going down here. something here part of the collar maybe all right so head sort of dipped down and then so like I'm gonna give him like some blue lightning and stuff As if he's just done his Chidori. Right, but you don't need to do much more than that. Just some on his clothing a little bit, maybe. And then, like, more texture if you want. Okay. I think that'll do. Kakashi, alternate version. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.